And I've got the Xiaomi Poco M3 smartphone right here. And if you remember last week, I did the first part of the bootloader unlock process for this device. Either a day or two ago, I completed the bootloader unlock process. And if you remember at the end of that tutorial, I told you that it's going to take seven days. I believe it was 160 something hours that we had to wait before we could actually complete the unlock process. The first part was basically like registering and telling them, hey, we want to unlock the device. Then we have to wait for a seven day period. At least I did. That wait, waiting period may vary from account to account. And then we basically just had to open that Me Unlock application again and actually unlock the device to get the bootloader unlocked on the Xiaomi Poco M3. However, I wanted to do a quick tutorial to show a quick fix, or at least the workaround I did for anybody who comes across this error whenever they're using the Xiaomi Mi Unlock tool. So if you watch in that video, you can see I actually get this error message in the video for a quick second. And then you see that I cut the video because I paused and did that workaround to fix it because this is not the error message that you should be getting. So whenever we do that me unlock process, we are supposed to get that couldn't unlock message. That is what we're supposed to get. However, we're not supposed to get the request parameter error message. If you got the request parameter error message, then you did not complete the bootloader unlock request. So what I did was I unplugged the USB cable from the Poco M3 while this program was still open. I just unplugged the cable. I then pressed and held the power button to force the device to reboot from fastboot mode. And as soon as the device rebooted, as soon as the screen turned off, I continued holding that power button down and I pressed the volume down button in combination so that I could reboot the phone back into fast boot mode. The goal was to force the device to reboot and immediately reboot the phone back into fast boot mode. With that done, I then simply plugged the USB cable back in and then I clicked that unlock again button. It gave the same confirmation prompts that it showed in the video initially and then it did the the process the three stage process and the percentage count up which resulted in again we are supposed to be getting the couldn't unlock message that is the message we are supposed to get however we're wanting to get a secondary message telling us how many hours we need to wait. If you're using the Xiaomi Mi Unlock tool and you are not getting this please unlock 168 hours later or 300 and something hours or how many ever hours it tells you, then you have not completely unlocked the device. Again, if you're getting the request parameter error message on the me unlock tool then I recommend you immediately reboot the Xiaomi smartphone reboot that phone back into fast boot mode and then plug in the phone again before using before clicking the unlock again button in the me unlock tool to make sure that you're actually getting a message telling you how many hours you need to wait. 
we just got to remember that these tools that we're using to unlock the bootloader on these Xiaomi devices are not really meant for consumer users, at least not the mainstream consumer user. Most of the time these are going to be used by developers and we're going to see some hiccups and bumps along the way just as you saw in that error message. Thankfully there is a quick and easy way, at least for me, in my experience, I was able to bypass that message by simply rebooting the phone back into fastboot mode and trying again. 